Hello and welcome to AS23 again. We have completed question number 9. Now let us come to question number 10. X Limited has invested to the extent of 25% in Y and company during the end of the financial year for the purpose of re re reporting X Limited the investor company values its investment in the associate. It finds that its share of losses of the associate exceeds the amount at which investment is carried. So what will be the answer of that? Investment will be carried at nil amount because if the share of loss investment is carried at nil amount because if the share of loss if the share of loss is more than the carrying amount investment will be shown at nil amount further in the current year the associate reports loss should x limited recognize the loss for the current year should x limited recognize the loss for the current year the answer is investment will be shown at nil value it should not recognize further loss but there is one exception which we have studied in the earlier question additional losses will be provided only if the investor has incurred an obligation or has given guarantee on behalf of associate this question was taken from rtp may 2013 and the answer of all such questions where the share in loss exceeds the carrying amount you will write two things first you will write investment will be carried at nil value but then you will also write a note that additional loss can be provided that note was given in question number 4 and question number 5 so same note you will mention here also so read this answer all of you please read the answer AS 23 speaks about the recognition of losses as per AS 23 if the carrying amount of the investment exceeds or equals the investor share of loss investors stop recognizing further losses and carries the investment at nil value therefore X limited need not recognize its share of loss for the current year and shall carry the investment at nil value for the purpose of CFS. However, in the case of separate financial statement, permanent diminution in the value if any should be adjusted from the carrying amount that is given in write down AS 13. This line is as per AS 13 if there is a permanent decline in the value of investment you will have to make a provision for diminution in the value of investment as per AS 13 in the separate financial statement. Now we will go to question number 11. A very different question. Source write down reference book. Source is a reference book. Your study material does not have enough question on AS 23. So, I have to find additional questions for your understanding and practice. So, here we have question number 11. A limited acquired 20,000 equity share in B limited on 20,000 shares acquired 20,000 shares acquired what is the cost of acquisition 3,20,000 out of which 1 lakh shares out of 1 lakh equity shares outstanding so percentage holding will be 20,000 share divide by 1 lakh share 
is equal to 20 percent. So, that is the interpretation of first line 20 percent shares were acquired on 1 for 2000 for rupees 3 lakh 20,000 and the problem says the credit balance of PNL account on that date was 3 lakh in the sub associate book PNL account was 3 lakh rupees profit for the year 2000 2001 that means I will say the profit for year ended 31st March 2001 profit of associate profit earned by associate is 2 lakh then for the year ended 31st March 2002 the profit of the associate is rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand and for year ended 31st March 2003 the profit is profit earned by the associate is 3 lakh is it right so up to this is clear from the timeline now it says an important line B limited declared 10 percent dividend each year B limited declared 10 percent dividend each year what is the policy of associate to pay 10 percent dividend how much dividend they are paying every year you can see 1 lakh share capital into 10 1 lakh into 10 10 lakh into 10 percent 1 lakh rupees dividend is paid in July in respect of immediately previous year which means July 2000 dividend paid 1 lakh dividend paid 1 lakh then again July 2001 dividend paid by associate 1 lakh then July 2002 dividend paid by associate 1 lakh is this right which also means dividend received by A limited is 20 percent of 1 lakh dividend received every July 20,000 dividend received by A limited 20,000 dividend received 20,000 I hope this is understandable but this dividend, div, uh, dividend relates to previous year this dividend relates to previous year now the student should understand the shares were acquired on 1 4 2000 dividend received in July 2000 for the year ended 31st March 2000 so this first dividend first dividend is dividend out of pre acquisition profit the first dividend is dividend out of pre acquisition profit because it is related to 31st March 2000 but the shares were acquired on 1st April this dividend 20,000 will be deducted from the carrying amount of investment which we have done in question number 9 also and this dividend out of pre acquisition profit is deducted from carrying amount of investment is given in AS 13 it is treated as a recovery of cost because you paid 320000 and immediately you got 20000 rupees dividend so out of 320 20000 you have recovered back so your cost of acquisition will reduce cost of acquisition will reduce by 20000 okay so cost of acquisition 320000 we are going to reduce by 20000 and therefore the net cost of acquisition for all further accounting will be rupees 3 lakh next point a limited is preparing consolidated balance sheet for the first time in 2002-2003 so that is interesting 
it is preparing consolidated financial statement for the first time standard is followed for the first time in 2002-2003 this is the first year the company wants to apply AS23 now there is a provision in accounting standard 23 earlier you were not applying AS23 during this period from 1st April 2000 to 31st March 2002 you were not following AS23 but now you will start following AS23 from let us say 1 4 2002 so what you have to do you have to calculate the carrying amount of investment you have to calculate the carrying amount of investment in associate in CFS had you followed AS23 from the beginning so retrospectively we will have to find out had I followed AS23 from the beginning how much will be the carrying amount if I would have applied AS23 right from the date of acquisition till 1st April 2002 what will be the carrying amount in the books on 14-2002 find out that compare with existing book value and the difference will be adjusted by debiting investment account and crediting reserve for the first time when you apply AS23 the difference between the existing carrying amount and the carrying amount that would have been determined as per AS23 would be adjusted in reserve and after that after that whatever adjustment you have to do you will have to do as required by S23 usually in consolidated profit and loss account so I have to make two working note first first I have to adjust the cost of acquisition because there is a dividend out of pre acquisition profit second I have to find out had I followed the standard right from the beginning till the date when this standard becomes applicable for the first time what would have been the carrying amount and then subsequent treatment of that so i hope you are ready let us first understand this note on the first occasion when investment in associate is accounted for in cfs in accordance with this statement the carrying amount of the investment in associate should be brought to the amount that would have resulted had the equity method of accounting been followed as per this statement since the acquisition of the associate so you have to apply retrospective effect if you are not following AS23 earlier now you are following AS23 from a particular date then compute the carrying amount of investment as if you had followed AS23 from the date the acquisition in associate was made ok and after finding the carrying amount the corresponding adjustment would be made because one effect will be in investment investment in associate debit but where is the credit effect for the first time application of AS23 the adjustment will be made in retained earning in consolidated financial statement please note whatever we are discussing in this chapter is applicable in consolidated financial statement in separate financial statement AS13 will be followed so my first task is to revise the cost of investment cost of investment first line of the question 3,20,000 out of that we need to adjust pre acquisition dividend received in July 2000 in July 2000 we have received 1 lakh into 20 percent but that is as per AS 13 this is as per accounting standard 13 and therefore therefore the net cost of acquisition is 3 lakh 
so my book value will be 3 lakh and I will continue to show this amount in the books because earlier I was not following AS23. Now we will see had I followed AS23 from the beginning what will be the carrying amount at the end of 31st March 2002. So we start with 3 lakh 20,000 minus dividend 20,000 2 lakh this is July adjusted in investment we could have started writing the answer from 3 lakh also then in the next year 2000-2001 the profit earned is 2 lakh rupees you have to write the calculation profit earned by associate is 2 lakh share of investor 40,000 so balance is 3 lakh 40,000 now again in July 2001 dividend was received as per AS 23 now this adjustment is as per AS 23 this adjustment was done as per AS 13 because that is the dividend out of pre acquisition profit here we are reducing the carrying amount of investment because the sub associate net asset has reduced so that is 20,000 my balance will become 3 lakh 20,000 in July and again for the year ended 31st March 2002 the associate has made a profit of 2 lakh 50,000 into 20 percent this is 50,000 and therefore investment balance on 31st March 23 as per AS 23 would have been would have been 3 lakh 70 thousand but what is the existing carrying amount 3 lakh because they are not following AS 23 till the end of 31st March 2002 so 3 lakh is the existing carrying amount I need to increase it to 3,70,000 so I will have to increase carrying amount of investment by 70,000 and a corresponding effect will be given in retained earning so we have written the journal entry also for understanding this entry we will pass on 1,4,2002 you can write the date please 1 4 2002 on 1 4 2002 investment in investment in B limited account debit 70,000 to retained earning 70,000 they have given the calculation 40,000 plus 50,000 minus 30 or you can write in bracket which is easy for you to understand 3,70,000 minus 3 lakh your book value before was 3 lakh it should have been 3 lakh 70 thousand as per AS 23 so therefore the adjustment of 70 thousand will be done so this is called adjusting the balance in investment account on first time application of AS 23 okay you will not find this type of question in study material or other books also this year that is 31st March 2003 this associate has made a profit of 3 lakh so please write the calculation 3 lakh into 20 percent 3 lakh into 20 percent the associate made a profit of 3 lakh our share is 20 percent so 60,000 so investment in B limited account debit investment will increase to income from associate in bracket consolidated P&L account the second effect will go to consolidated P&L account and they, they have paid you dividend also dividend was paid in July 2002 right here July 2002 
twenty thousand, bank account debit twenty thousand, to investment in B Limited twenty thousand. How this has come? Dividend paid one lakh by associate. Our share is twenty percent. Being dividend received. Deducted from carrying amount of investment in consolidated financial statement being dividend received deducted from carrying amount of investment in consolidated financial. statement so this is the answer of this question now we'll take some important questions number 12 taken from rtp number 12 the students are requested to mark it as very very important question very very important question please mark it i'm sure you are going to mark it as an important question so let us come to 12 consolidated balance sheet of mohan limited group and its associate sohan limited on 31st march 10 before adjustment for equity method underline this is before adjustment for equity method are given below One second. Yes. Now it says rupees in thousand. Equity share capital, capital reserve, profit and loss account, minority interest, sundry liabilities, and there is a proposed dividend also. Tick mark. Proposed dividend is a part of profit. Proposed dividend is a part of profit because it was. created by debiting profit and loss account and it has not yet paid the dividend sohan limited is associate now asset side is sundry asset and investment in sohan investment in sohan limited 150 that is cost of acquisition this is cost of acquisition 150 now we'll come to next line mohan limited acquired 30% ordinary share of sohan limited on 142008 this date is 148 for rupees 150000 the balance of a limited profit and loss on that date balance of a limited profit and loss it should not be a you make it sohan The balance in the P&L account of Sohan Limited was one lakh eighty thousand. Mohan Limited is preparing consolidated financial statement of the group on thirty first March ten, as per equity method. The method of accounting in AS twenty three is called equity method. You are required to compute goodwill, if any, arising on acquisition of. so on limited share so how mohan will reflect the investment in consolidated financial statement so we'll have to prepare first working note on goodwill or capital reserve which is very easy cost of acquisition you will find in the balance sheet 150 cost of acquisition is 150 then we have to compute share in net asset of associate on date of acquisition share in net asset of associate on date of acquisition 
so for that i have to add two things i have to add this share capital 300 plus the profit on that date profit and loss account balance on the date of acquisition 180000 so 300 share capital 180 pnl account on the date of acquisition and multiply by 30 percent multiplied by 30 percent so how much is that that is 144 so point number c would be goodwill goodwill will be a minus b 6 this is how goodwill will be calculated a minus b next thing i need to find out how much profit was earned by sohan limited the associate after the acquisition on the date of acquisition pnl account balance is 180 okay but if you look at the pnl account balance at the end of 31 3 2010 it is 200 out of that the opening balance is 180 and plus the proposed dividend is also given here 30 so my next step 2 should be profit earned by sohan limited who is an associate after acquisition post acquisition profit we can say post acquisition profit of so unlimited in one earlier problem also we had done we'll have to first write increase in pnl account balance which is right now 200 in the balance sheet you can see 200 here i am going to circle it 200 and now it is it was opening balance was 180 on the date of acquisition post acquisition increase in pnl account is 20 point number 2 proposed dividend because that is also debited from pnl account and credited to proposed dividend so how much is proposed dividend this 30 30 so my profit for the year is 50 and then the third working i'll prepare will be carrying amount of investment carrying amount of investment in sohan limited as per as 23 so my cost of acquisition is 150 i will add share in post acquisition profit which will be 50 into 15 percent sorry 50 into 30 percent that is 15 and the total carrying amount will be 165 and this 165 includes goodwill i have to present that in the balance sheet is it right so let us see how the balance sheet would look like so in the balance sheet you are going to increase the profit and loss account by 15 parents profit and loss 15 increase and investment will be shown at 165 instead of 150 only two figures will change the pnl account balance of the group will increase by 15 on the liability side and the investment balance will increase by 15 on the asset side and in investment you will have a disclosure about goodwill so i will show you directly the balance sheet now printed in the book share capital will be same sundry asset will be same capital reserve will be same this investment in sohan asset side will be 2 
will be 165 with a note includes goodwill 6. Here the PNL account will increase by 15 because the second effect of this 15 will go in the consolidated PNL account, minority interest will not change, sundry liabilities will not change, parent company's proposed dividend 100 will appear and the total is 2365. Have a look at the balance sheet. This way you will prepare balance sheet. Just write a note. Prepare balance sheet in schedule 3 format. This is just for easy understanding, but in the exam, in the exam, if the same question is asked, you are going to prepare balance sheet in vertical format as per schedule 3. So, that was a very important question number 12. Okay. Now, we will take another very, very important question. This is also very, very important question. Please mark. One reason is it is also in the study material. Other reason is it was asked in number 10 exam also. Okay. Ready? Bright Limited acquired 30 percent shares of East India Limited on 1-6-2009. See the date 1 6 9. It is not 1st April. And how much take? 30 percent. Cost 2 lakh. By such an acquisition, Bright Limited can exercise significant influence over East India during the financial year ending 31st March 9. Financial year ending 31st March 9. So, if you count the number of months, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So, total post acquisition period is 10 months, post acquisition period is 10 months, post acquisition period is 10 months and that will affect my answer hence I am emphasizing on 10 months because all previous 12 question the shares were acquired at the start of the year. So, you took entire 12 months current year was treated as post acquisition. Now, the problem says during the financial year ending, this company earned a profit of 80,000. Now, this 80,000 will have to divide into two parts, first two months, next 10 months. So, profit of 10 months period will be 10 by 12, 10 by 12. into 80,000. Is it 80,000? Yes, 10 by 12 into 80,000. This is the profit of, no, there is a small misinterpretation by me. I would like to rectify this is the during the financial year ending 31st March 3 East India earned a profit of 80,000. This is not 31st March 9, it should be 31st March 10 and this is not here. 31st March 9 will be here, how can 31st March 9 be after 1st June 9. So, during this year the profit was 80,000 and a dividend was paid 50,000 on 12th August. Somewhere around here 12th August 2009, dividend was paid rupees 50,000. Shares were acquired on 1-6, dividend was paid 
for previous year on 12 August. Is it a dividend out of pre acquisition profit or is it a dividend out of post acquisition profit? So, this dividend is related to year ending 31st March 2010. I will read the whole line again, very critical point. During the financial year ending 31st March 9, East India earned 80,000 rupees profit. This is the profit of the previous year and declared a dividend of 50,000 on 12th August. Dividend was paid out of 80,000. This is a dividend out of pre acquisition profit. What will be the share of Bright Limited in that? Bright Limited will receive 30 percent of 50,000, which is 15,000 which is 15,000. So, this is a dividend out of pre acquisition profit. It will be reduced from investment cost of investment. The cost of investment is 2 lakh minus dividend out of pre acquisition profit 15,000. So, remaining amount is your net cost of acquisition. This is again I repeat for the third time in our current chapter this is as per AS 13. AS 13 says dividend out of pre acquisition profit should be reduced from the carrying amount of investment because it is treated as recovery of cost. Next line it says East India reported earning of rupees 3 lakh for the financial year ending 31st March 2010. Now, this year, this year from 31st March 9 to 31st March 10, the profit earned is 3 lakh, but our date of acquisition is 1st June. So, I will take 3 lakh into 10 by 12 as the post acquisition profit and this we will multiply by 30 percent to calculate the share in profit of associate after acquisition and declared dividend of 60,000 on 12 June. The dividend was declared on 12 June. This will not be adjusted because I need to find out the balance on 31st March 2010. Okay. If I have to calculate the balance after the acquisition date then we will deduct the dividend. Question is compute the carrying amount of investment in separate financial statement of Bright Limited on 31st March 10. The answer is 1,85,000. We are going to deduct pre acquisition dividend. Second question consolidated balance sheet on 31st March 10. In consolidated balance sheet I will start with 1,85,000 add share in profit. So, you will take on your calculator share in profit for the period 1 6 2010 to 31st March 10 total profit for the year is 3 lakh into 10 divided by 12 into 30 percent. So, that is 75,000. So, the answer for this part 185 plus 75 how much is that? 2,60,000. Second answer is 2,60,000. And the third question is carrying amount on 31st March 10. So, I will take 2,60,000 and this dividend 60,000 rupees into 30 percent will be deducted because dividend was received on 12 June and we are computing on 30th June. So, 18,000 you are going to reduce from 2,60,000. So, what is the balance now? 2,42,000. Oh my God. So, now we are going to understand properly. I have explained. This is my first time explanation. Second time when we write the answer. So, step one will be finding the carrying amount of investment on 31st March 10. Dear student, first you will write cost of acquisition. Cost of acquisition was 2 lakh. 
less pre acquisition dividend you have received dividend 50000 into 30% it is related to year ending 31st march 2010 31st march 9 sorry it is related to 31st march 9 hence it is a pre acquisition dividend you must reduce it 15000 therefore carrying amount as per as 13 on this date is to 185000 this adjustment is as per accounting standard 13 you can mention now the next question is so my starting number will become 185 for all further calculation so when i am preparing consolidated financial statement when i am preparing consolidated financial statement on 31st march 10 as per as 13 i am applying equity method so i'll start with cost that is 185000 as adjusted for pre acquisition dividend so my cost after deducting pre acquisition dividend revised cost is 185000 and i have acquired the share on 1st june 2009 and the year ending date is 31st march 2010 therefore i will take post acquisition profit for 10 months only date is also important so my share will be 30% of 3 lakh into 10 by 12 Hence seventy five thousand, and my carrying amount on thirty first March twenty ten, as per AS twenty three, will be two lakh sixty thousand, and then they have also asked you thirty eight June two thousand ten, as per AS twenty three, so my carrying amount from previous working on thirty first March ten two lakh sixty thousand. Minus dividend received, sixty thousand into thirty percent, eighteen thousand. This adjustment we are doing as per AS twenty three. This adjustment we are doing as per AS twenty three. AS twenty three says if you receive dividend, reduce the carrying amount because the associate net asset is reduced, and therefore. now on 30th june 2010 the carrying amount of the investment as per as 23 would be 2 lakh 42000 okay and we'll write a note in the absence of information goodwill or capital reserve cannot be calculated because we are not given share capital of the associate if you look at the problem so you don't know what was the net asset on that date of acquisition so goodwill or capital reserve cannot be computed now we'll come to question number 14 again important question considering this is an exam problem okay study material source very very important we have already done similar problem one more practice will not harm us A Limited acquired forty-five percent of B on one four two thousand X one. The price paid fifteen lakh. Following are the extract of the balance sheet on one four two thousand one. So this will help me to calculate goodwill or capital reserve. Sixteen lakh was the net asset. Into forty-five percent. If I do, that comes to seven lakh twenty thousand, and my cost of acquisition is fifteen lakh. So 
सो गुडविल विल अराइज फिफ्टीन लैक माइनस सेवन ट्वेंटी गुडविल विल अराइज सेवन लैक एटी थाउजेंड यू पेड सेवन लैक एटी थाउजेंड एक्सेस अमाउंट टूवर्ड्स गुडविल देन इट्स इज बी एज रिपोर्टेड नेट प्रॉफिट ऑफ थ्री लैख एड शेयर इन दैट एंड पेड डिविडेंड ऑफ वन लैख टेन थाउजेंड लेस शेयर इन डिविडेंड कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट एट विच इन्वेस्टमेंट वुड बी शोन इन द कंसोलिडेटेड बैलेंस शीट वेरी इजी ऑलरेडी डन सो यू कैन जस्ट टिक मार्क द आंसर इन द बुक फर्स्ट स्टेप वन कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ गुडविल कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन फिफ्टीन लैख देन वील फाइंड आउट शेयर इन नेट एसेट ऑफ ए असोसिएट अंडर दैट वी हैव टू राइट इन द इनर कॉलम असोसिएट शेयर कैपिटल टेन लैख असोसिएट सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम वन लैख असोसिएट रिजर्व फाइव लैख नेट एसेट ऑफ असोसिएट नेट एसेट ऑफ असोसिएट ऑन डेट ऑफ एक्विजिशन विल बी सिक्सटीन लैख एंड फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ नेट एसेट इज सेवन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड देर फोर गुडविल देर फोर गुडविल सेवन लैख एटी थाउजेंड एनी क्वेरी ऑन दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन सो मेनी टाइम्स यू माइट हैव गॉट बोर्ड ऑल्सो नाउ नेक्स्ट इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैरिंग अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट फिफ्टीन लैख आई हैव मेड सम चेंजेस इन द प्रेजेंटेशन कॉस्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट फिफ्टीन लैख दिस यू कैन राइट इन द नोटबुक इफ यू वॉन्ट अ डिफरेंट प्रेजेंटेशन इंस्टीट्यूट प्रेजेंटेशन इज प्रिंटेड इन द बुक बोथ आर राइट कॉस्ट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन असोसिएट फिफ्टीन लैख दिस इज आवर वे ऑफ डूइंग एंड दिस इज हाउ इट शुड बी डन ऑल्सो गुडविल शुड नॉट बी रिटर्न सेपरेटली इन द आउटर कॉलम गुडविल शुड अपियर एज अ डिस्क्लोजर सो यू हैव टू राइट इंक्लूड्स गुडविल रुपीज सेवन लैख एटी थाउजेंड एंड टू दैट आई विल एड शेयर इन द पोस्ट एक्विजिशन प्रॉफिट थ्री लैख इंटू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट शेयर इन पोस्ट एक्विजिशन प्रॉफिट थ्री लैख इंटू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट वन लैख थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड लेस डिविडेंड रिसीव्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ पेड वी कैन राइट रिसीव्ड वन लैख इंटू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट वन लैख इंटू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड देर फोर कैरिंग अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट टेक द टोटल प्रॉपरली फिफ्टीन लैख नाइंटी थाउजेंड कैरिंग अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट फिफ्टीन लैख नाइंटी थाउजेंड Carrying amount of investment fifteen lakh ninety thousand. So that was the answer of this question. Now we'll come to question number fifteen. Question number fifteen. Source is study material. Again, write down very very important. very very important because this is a study material question so we are going to understand the answer is printed in the book later on you can check i am going to explain the answer the student will concentrate on understanding part the answer is already there in the book a limited acquired 40% share in b on 1st april 2001 Four rupees ten lakh. So ten lakh is cost. One four two zero x one. Date of acquisition. Forty percent is the share. On that date, B Limited had one lakh equity share of rupees ten each. So that is share capital was ten lakh. Share capital was ten lakh. 
an accumulated profit of 2 lakh. So 10 lakh plus 2 lakh net asset was 12 lakh. Net asset was 12 lakh. 10 lakh plus 2 lakh net asset is 12 lakh. Agreed. During the year 2001-2, B suffered a loss of 10 lakh. First year loss 10 lakh. Second year loss 12 lakh 50,000. Third year loss 5 lakh. Show the extract of consolidated balance sheet of A on all the four dates recording the above events. So I have given the answer in the book, but I am going to explain. First thing what we need to do is calculate goodwill or capital reserve. Cost of acquisition first line 10 lakh. Point B less share in net assets on the date of acquisition less share in net asset on the date of acquisition. So, we have total share capital 10 lakh profit 2 lakh 12 lakh. So, you will take 12 lakh into 40 percent that is 4 lakh 80,000. So, the goodwill comes to 5 lakh 20,000. Goodwill comes to 5 lakh 20,000. So, this is my goodwill. Now, I will come to year 1. Let us call it year 1, year 2 and year 3. In year 3 balance sheet, asset side non current asset we will write investment in b limited 10 lakh investment in b limited 10 lakh includes goodwill 5 lakh 20000 I repeat includes goodwill rupees 5 lakh 20,000 and then less share in loss of associate share in loss of associate share in loss of associate first year B limited suffered a loss of 10 lakh. 10 lakh into 40 percent 4 lakh therefore carrying amount would be 6 lakh. So, the presentation in the first year balance sheet would be asset investment in B 10 lakh includes goodwill 5 lakh 20,000 less share in loss of associate 4 lakh and therefore carrying amount would be 6 lakh. Therefore, carrying amount would be 6 lakh. In your institute answer, they have written goodwill separately in the outer column or in the inner column and then they have taken the total 6 lakh. So, either way you can present, either way you can present year 2, year 2 balance sheet asset side non current asset investment in B limited you start with 6 lakh in bracket includes goodwill 5 lakh 20,000 includes goodwill 5 lakh 20,000 less share in loss of associate 
शेयर इन लॉस ऑफ एसोसिएट सेकेंड ईयर लॉस इज ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इंटू फोर्टी परसेंट इंटू फोर्टी परसेंट ओ माई गॉड नाउ द लॉस इज हाउ मच ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इंटू फोर्टी परसेंट That is five lakh. Huge loss. So carrying amount will now be one lakh. Carrying amount now will be one lakh. Carrying amount now will be one lakh. And then we'll prepare year three balance sheet. Year three consolidated balance sheet, asset side same thing you will write. Non current asset you will write. Investment in B limited one lakh. Includes goodwill five lakh twenty thousand less share in loss less share in loss less share in loss. Now the loss of the associate is five lakh into forty percent. That is two lakh. Outer column will be nil. Outer column will be nil. Outer column will be nil. Okay, why outer column will be nil? Because the amount of investment cannot be negative. The amount of investment cannot be negative, and therefore we will take zero value. this is how you can present your answer in the exam or you can follow the institute format also it's okay both are okay because finally i have to show zero balance and then there is a note at the end of the answer you will write that note also i will read the note from your book okay the note says if the if under the equity method investor share of loss Equals or exceed the carrying amount of the investment. Please follow the note. The investor ordinarily discontinues recognizing its share of further losses, and the investment is reported at nil value. Additional losses are provided to the extent the investor has underline incurred obligation. Investor has incurred obligation. or made payment on behalf of associate to satisfy obligation of the associate that the investor has guaranteed or to which the investor is otherwise committed if the associate subsequently reports profit the investor resumes including its share of profit only after the share of profit equal the share of loss that have not been recognized so this note we have done for the third or the fourth time Next question number sixteen is describe the cases when AS twenty three does not allow use of equity method. This we have discussed. One is when the investment is acquired for disposal in near future, and second when the associate comes under long term restriction and it is not able to transfer funds to the parent. so that is the answer you have to write this is a theory question tick mark for a four mark theory question question number 16 already explained to you and one last question when is an investor required to discontinue the use of equity method already discussed one you don't have significant influence and second the associate comes under severe long term restriction the associate comes under severe long term restriction that time we will discontinue 
the use of equity method understood so we have covered all the 17 question in the classroom many questions we have taken from reference book for more practice and more conceptual clarity if you have any doubt you can message me on email vinod underscore ca at yahoo.com you can send whatsapp on 9766921860 you can call on our number 9667671155 okay you can call on this number also you can call on 9422365495 so many numbers are there call message get your doubt cleared okay and i would request you all 17 question you must complete in the notebook if you complete in the notebook as23 will be crystal clear for you for the purpose of examination thank you very much and wish you good reading happy reading and good luck for the exam